That was the third LP. There's been one since then, hasn't The fourth one, yes. Again, this came by these opportunities. Somewhere in London, a group of highly important musicians had decided that the music of Havergal Brown, which had been terribly neglected, here was a man now in his 96th birthday who had written 32 symphonies, 20 of them since he was 80 years of age, none of them which had ever been put on record and only one of them which had ever been played by the radio. And so before he died, these people thought that some of his music should be put on record. And what better they thought than that it should be played by a young orchestra. And happily for us, what better they thought than that the Leicestershire School's Orchestra should play it. So uh, the music was sent to me of two of his symphonies and we were asked if we would play it. It was rather a forbidding task because the music of Havergal Brown is not easy by any means. He is, uh, I think you would you could describe him as an, an anti-romantic in that never will he allow his music to become sentimental or suspect. And so it is always hard drive, imaginative, but imaginative in a very dour way. Anyway, we set out to play his two symphonies and we made the record last year and funnily enough, or happily enough, the record was voted one of the six best of the year, which stimulated another a very famous company to uh, be interested in us making a third, fifth record, which we've just completed, and which we hope will be issued later this year. The recording company are CBS, and we've made further pieces of Havergal Brown for the record. Looking back now in 1974, doesn't it seem a bit like a fairy story come true? Yes, uh, life's a fairy story if you make it so, isn't it? Uh, I've enjoyed it and if I've worked hard, and a lot of people tell me I work hard, but I never think so because I enjoy every moment of, of this work. Well, I'd like to thank you very much now for talking to us. Could we have one final piece of music from the orchestra? Well. Yes, and we'll be now anti-romantic because all that I've been talking is romance and r the romantic part of my life. Uh, so let's have the, some of the music of Havergal Brown, the musician unknown to the majority of Britain, but nevertheless a great m composer who was probably obscured by Elgar and Vaughan Williams. And had they not lived, then the name of Havergal Brown would have been much more universal. As it is, we are the first to put his music on record, and here is part of his 21st symphony. <laughs> 